Hey, and welcome to the insertion and deletion portion of Skipless. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, perform an insertion. And for insertion and deletion, uh, we have to remember that we always have to search for the key first. So in this instance, we're gonna try to add uh, 42 to the skip list. Well, that means we need to find the largest key less than or equal to 42. Now 42 could exist, and if that's the case, if 42 does exist, we just replace the the 40 the node holding 42. Uh, we just replace it with the one that we're trying to insert. That's that, okay? Uh, you because you're replacing the key value pair, so it could be a different value, but the same key. But let's say that's not the case. Say it doesn't exist. So uh, the first thing we got to do is search for again the largest key less than or equal to 42. So we get to start up here, and we always drop down level first. And then we try to scan forward as much as possible. So we can go over to 17 because it's less than or equal to 42. Positive infinity is not. So now we have to drop down. And then we scan forward. 25 is less than or equal to 42. We cannot go forward anymore because positive infinity is greater than it. Uh, so we drop down. Go forward. 31 is less than or equal to 42. Positive infinity is not. So we drop down again. We can go over to 39 because it's less than or equal to 42. Uh, positive infinity is not. So we drop down again. 50 is not less than or equal to 42. So we stay here at this tower. And we try to go down again, but we can't because uh, the below reference is null. As soon as that happens, we're done. Okay, so we, we're going to return third the node, this node containing 39 as the key. So that's what we found from searching. So now we just do the insertion part. Okay, so we found uh, we found the node um, that's going to be denoted as 39. So we found this. All we do is insert 42. We create a new node here, uh, 42, and we have to manipulate references. That's going to be the toughest part about insertion and deletion is uh, manipulating the references to these new nodes. The 39's next reference was referencing 50, but now it's got a reference 42. 50's previous reference was referencing uh, 39, but now it's got a reference 42, okay? As I said before, uh, skip list is a probabilistic data structure, and we're about to find out why. You see that these other towers have the same keys and on different levels. The reason it happens is because now we're going to flip a coin. If it's heads, we're gonna add another node to this tower. If it's tails, we stop, All right? That's that's pretty much it. So let's say we flipped a coin and it was heads. So we're going to insert another node here above, above, um, in the same tower, but above the one we just inserted. Again, we have to manipulate references. So we're going to go up and say, hey, the, the above reference here is the new node 42. But now we're going to have to go, uh, we're going to have to kind of backtrack a little bit. So we're going to have to go left. We're going to check to see this has an above reference, and it does. So now we have to, now that we're on the next level, this next reference, 39's next reference was positive infinity, and now it's got to be 42. Positive infinity's previous reference was 39, now it's got to be 42. And then we have to say 42's below reference uh, was the node that we inserted previously. All right. And we're going to do this again. Let's say... Let's say that we flip the coin again and it was heads again. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, the new node um, in the same tower on the uh, next level. So we're gonna insert 42. We're gonna say, we're gonna uh, do this above reference and then we're gonna backtrack a little bit. We're gonna go back. 39 does not have, this 39 does not have an above reference. So we have to go back again. This 31 does. So now, again, we have to manipulate references. 31's next reference was positive infinity. Now it's going to be 42. Positive infinity's previous reference was 31. Now it's 42. And then we got to say 42's below reference um, is 42. The next thing we do is we flip a coin again. Let's say it was heads one more time. So we flip the coin, it was heads. We're going to insert 42. Uh, we have to set the references again. And we're just going to backtrack. Gonna go over here. We're gonna go to the previous node. 31 does not have an above reference, so we're gonna go to the previous node. 
whoops, terrible arrow. Uh, 25 does have an above reference. Now uh, we're going to set 25 next reference to this new node. Uh, pause Infinity's previous reference to this new node. And then this new node's below reference to 42 in the same tower. Okay, so we flipped a coin again. Now let's say we flip a coin again and it's tails. That means we're done. Okay, we're done. That's it. And that's that's uh, how you insert a node into a skip list. All right, that's all. Again, we're going to recap. We search for the node, the largest key, less than or equal to what we're trying to add. And then we just uh, we insert the new node after it. And we keep flipping a coin until we get tails. And we keep adding to the tower. And the whole time, you just have to manipulate references. All right? We want to delete a node from the skip list. So let's say we want to delete 25. All right? And we have uh, a tower that has four of these. So which is good, because this is good practice. All right, so the first thing we have to do, just like last time, is we have to find the... We have to make sure this node exists. So we have to find the node less than or equal to 25. If it doesn't exist, we're just going to return null. Okay, that's that's all you do. So we're going to, it does exist. So that's all I picked. That's why I picked one that does. So we always start at the beginning at the starting node, which is the top left of the skip list or the highest level. Uh, it's the node at the highest level with the smallest key. So we drop down and we try to scan forward as much as possible. Positive infinity is not less is not less than or equal to 25. So we drop down again. 25 is less than or equal to 25. Uh, positive infinity is not. So we stop here at this level. We drop down. Uh, 31 is not less than or equal to 25. So we kind of keep doing this. We're going to keep going down um, because 31 is not, all these 31s are not less than or equal to 25. So then we finally get to the bottom bottom level. We try and go down one more time, and we can't because it's below reference is null, which again means we're done. So we're going to return this node right here. All right. OK, so we were successful in finding. Uh, we return this node, and we would you would say, does this node key equal 25? And if it does, OK, then we can delete. All right. So it is. Now, all we do here is we only have to worry about the next and previous references for these nodes. So we're here, the, all we have to do is 20, 20's next reference was referencing 25, but now we have to bypass that and it has to do its next reference. The same thing with 31, 31's previous reference has to uh, go to 20 and then 20's next reference goes to 31. So we're bypassing 25, right? We're just getting rid of the references there. So we're gonna go up a level. So we're gonna go up a level. I'm going to do the same thing. 17 is going to reference 31, and then 31 is going to reference 17, um, and that's getting rid of, and that's getting rid of this this 25's reference. Okay, so we're going to go up again. We don't have to worry about the vertical references, so the above and below. We only have to worry about um, the horizontal ones. All right, so then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say 17's next reference is 31. 31's previous is 17. We're going to go up again. 17's Next reference is positive infinity. Positive infinity's previous reference is 17. And this uh, this 25 does not have an above reference, so we're done. And that's all we do for deletion. You only have to worry about the, the previous and next nodes of the tower and make sure that they're, they're referencing each other instead of the tower that we're deleting. That's pretty much it for deletion. It's It's definitely the simpler one of the two. Okay, so I hope uh, this helped you guys understand how insertion deletion works. If you have any comments or just any questions in general that you need me to uh, explain a little bit more, leave them down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. I'll see you next video.